Okay, so hello Lighthouse Community Church back in Navan. Um, my name is David Rossiter and some of you know me and some of you probably don't know me so let me just introduce myself. Um, as I said my name is David, I'm from Drogheda and uh, some of you probably know my family in, in the church and uh, so last, last, last Christmas, last December, January um, I got a chance to go home and I, I was telling you guys that I was moving to Hong Kong and to work with an organization called St. Stephen's Society. And uh, so let me tell you about St. Stephen's and about what I'm doing here. Um, so St. Stephen's is basically a ministry to the poor, it's a Christian ministry to the poor. And in particular what I do is I work in what's called the New Boy House. Um, so the New Boy House is where we take um, basically drug addicts and, and different people from different serious kind of uh, social and family backgrounds where they need help. And so we take them in and they come and live with us. And we basically um, try and help them get off drugs, in particular get off heroin and get on to Jesus instead. And so you can imagine that's quite fun and quite interesting all at the same time. And um, that's basically what I'm doing at the moment. So uh, we, we do things a little bit differently. We, 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 um, we believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, we're, we're, um, uh, we, yeah, we believe in, in just Jesus doing miracles in people's lives and so when a, when a, when a, what's called a new boy, when, the, when a new person comes to live with us, um, for the first 10 days when they're doing a withdrawal process from drugs, um, um, we basically pray over them um, the whole time. Um, so someone will be on duty over the new boy and they'll be praying over them, praying that God gives them a physical miracle, just praying in tongues with them. And uh, we get the new boy to also pray in tongues and to, to pray and ask Jesus for a miracle in his life to get some physical healing. Um, so often what happens is... Um, the, the withdrawal process from heroin in particular is quite painful on the body um, and, and quite, uh, quite stressful on, on the mind as well. And uh, so we, we, we pray and we ask God for a miracle, basically a physical me uh, healing um, for them and, and often that does happen and that's really quite amazing to see um, when Jesus really does a miracle in, 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 in this person's life and it really, it really demonstrates um, that that Jesus is, is alive and well, and uh, so John. Some of you have heard of John Wimber before, and he used to believe in a thing called a proclamation and demonstration. So he was talking about this this mixture of, of preaching the gospel, but also God demonstrating that He's a powerful God, and uh, so that's quite similar to what we do. We 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 um, we take in these guys who have never heard the gospel before, uh, they hear Jesus, and then they see miracles, many miracles. Um, might be miracles of provision for ourselves in, in the house. It might be physical healing for them and for other, other brothers that live with us. Um, so yeah, it's it's quite it's quite a it's quite an interesting interesting thing that we're doing, and quite quite uh, it's got its ups and downs as you can imagine. And uh, so like a daily schedule for us might include basically we'll read the Bible, um, we'll worship, we'll have Bible study and Bible sharing. Um, but also have lots of fun as well. I mean, or just play sports with the guys, and maybe, you know, just uh, yeah, just just have as much fun as we can. Play play some games, and just try and enjoy living with each other, and, and enjoy letting Jesus, uh, you know, heal us, and, and enjoy just getting getting something from God, and yeah, really just uh, seeing seeing lives change. That's that's basically what we do. Um, so uh, yeah, it's it's, it's quite uh, it's quite fun. And it's quite challenging and demanding. And uh, for you guys, I know you guys back home are doing, uh, um, thinking about missions and maybe what that looks like. And I guess missions will look like many things. For people, it's, it's staying within, their, within your own home and your own home country and, and just reaching out and sharing the gospel. For others, it means going, going uh, and leaving Ireland and, and going to the nations. And uh, so I just bless you in that, guys. And I bless you to to listen and hear and follow Jesus and uh, if you're interested in more about what I'm doing here please feel free to, to email me or you know get my details off my parents and uh, they should be probably sitting in the church right now so you can you can get it off them after the service maybe and uh, yeah I'd love to fill you in more and uh, before I go I just I just really encourage you to step out and to to follow Jesus with your whole heart and to give him your whole life. And I think when, when all of us, that when we follow Jesus, when we really give him everything, um, that's really when we'll see uh, 
really big changes and we really see God making some damage in the enemy's kingdom here and uh, we just see him set up his kingdom and um, so I just encourage you to to not be afraid to to I guess lay down your life um, we find that we follow Jesus we lose our life to gain it and that's certainly been my case I've, I've left Ireland I left the life that I, that I had back in Ireland and I thought I was losing a life but I've really really found that in following Jesus um, and, and following wholeheartedly it really means that I gain life and I get life and so I encourage you to do the same I encourage you to um, yeah follow Jesus and what he's got called for you and the plan that he's got for your life and uh, bless you guys and uh, we'll talk to you again another time. Bye-bye.